All right, so, so let's take a look at the, the going the other way around, right, uh, of unmarshalling data. So we already have, we already have the, uh, uh, the, the XML that we would like to parse, but we've generated, right? So what I'd like to be able to see is that can we parse the same exact uh, data that I've just generated, right? I should be able to just read it back into, uh, into uh, memory, right? Uh, so, so let's create here a class real quick where we can um, uh, read this, right? We say, so it says um, uh, class uh, read XML to Java with Jaxby. Jaxby. And let's put a main there. So this is the same exact code that, that we wouldn't want uh, before. We would uh, create a, a, a Jaxby context, right? Uh, which we need to load. And we also need to catch any exceptions. And we need to bring the students class, although we don't, I guess we don't need to import it because we're in the same package. Uh, once we have that, uh, we create, instead of creating a marshaller, we create an unmarshaller. <coughs> so here's the unmarshaller. Let's uh, load that from our Jaxby. Uh, and let's load the file where we're going to read it from. And that's uh, from a source, that's CS5200 slash XML slash Jaxb. And we need to uh, import file. And once we have that XML file, we can just read it as a list. We can arm marshal uh, the XML file into a student list. And then we can just iterate over the students, right? We can say, uh, you know, um, uh, let's see, it's a collection, right? So we have a, a collection of students, student. So it's students, let's load collection. Let's import collection. Uh, and this would be student uh, list, student list dot get student, which returns a collection of students. Uh, and then we can just iterate over this, right? So iterate, iterator, iterate over, do, do iterators need to be? Generalize students. students, right? Uh, so this is uh, students dot iterator. Where's the iterator? Oh, there it is. And then we just iterate over this, right? Uh, iterator import. Ah, oh, could have used for each, right? Yeah. Do they have that? Uh, for a student student in what students mm -hmm. uh, and we can just uh, uh, system dot out dot, dot oop, print ln student dot get first name let's just print the first name All right so let's read this let's run this as a Java app and this presumably returns all the all the objects in the XML All right it's just a, the opposite, right? Going backwards and forwards. So excellent. So we have both ways to go forwards and backwards. So whatever you give me uh, in XML, whether I parse it from an API or parse it from some stream or some file, right? I can always convert it back into whatever my a Java object a data model I might have. Uh, the next part would be, okay, I want to store this in a database, right? And that would be uh, the the topic for next week when we talk about ORMs. ORMs, uh, you know, just like Jack's B does the conversion between XML uh, representation and Java object representation, uh, ORMs, right, or JPA, uh, Java Persistence API, allows you to do the conversion between a Java data model and some relational schema, right? So once we have that, well, once we have the entire stack, you can just, you, you can just convert from any representation you, you want, right, from XML to Java to, uh, to relational databases, and then after that we'll talk about JSON representations and you can convert between any any data representation you give me right I can always convert it from one to the other all right so let's let's uh, uh, take a look at the next topic